This is the story of Samson, Covenant Defender. And again, the Israelites were evil in the eyes of the Lord. So the Lord delivered them into the hands of the Philistines for four years. Jason, 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 stop. Food! Bad! After 40 years of bondage under the Philistines, the people cried out to the Lord for help. So he sent this angel to the certain woman, and uh, this is kind of what he said. You, I am an angel of the Lord. And right now you are all and unchild dead, dead, dead. Yeah. But you will conceive of a son. Good news. Congratulations. From now on, you will not drink anything fermented or eat anything unclean. Yeah, so that's about it. Eat dinner with us. No, I really can't. But I'll help you sacrifice something. That makes you happy. Throne! Nine months later. I thought you were doing it. Totally death. So Samson was like on his way to Timna to get a wife and this lion like totally like jumped him and he snapped him in half pretty much. All the way! Jump snapped! Blooded! After Samson broke the lion and married the girl from Timna, he went down to Ashkelon and totally destroyed 30 men. So, Samson's father-in-law took Samson's wife and gave him to Samson's best friend, right? And so it made Samson really mad, so he, so he went and set their field on fire with foxes. Three thousand of them, man! Lit! Wave of flame! After the Philistines discovered that Samson had burned their fields, they decided that they would repay him by burning his wife. <laughs> the men of Judah came to Samson and asked him what the crap he had done because the Philistines were pretty ticked off. So, Samson told them and they were like, hey, well, we better take you to the Philistines so they can kill you and, and beat you and and kill you to death. So they tied him up and took him to the Philistines and he picked up a jawbone after he had broken free and whacked the crap out of everyone with the jawbone. Jawbone! Twenty years later so, uh, Samson got really bored one day, and he went over to this chick's house, right? And, uh, so these guys saw him, and they're like, Oh, let, let's take him out whenever it comes out in the morning, right at dawn. But I guess, I guess Samson was a little bit smarter than they are. He, he left at, at, like, midnight or, or something like that, and... And I guess he was mad because they tried to kill him, so, so he tore down the gate to the city and dragged it up a hill. Wow. That, that's, that's amazing. Oh. So Samson met this really hot girl named Delilah and he wanted to marry her so he did. He was Philistine and uncircumcised. Is that even possible? I don't know. So uh, the the rulers of the Philistines told Delilah for a lot of money if she was like, hey, hey, 
what's the secret to your strength, huh? What, what makes you so strong, huh? Yeah. So, Delilah went to Samson and was like, Samson, huh? What's the source of your strength? What, what makes you so strong, huh? What? What? Lady, the is in the undried thongs. The thongs that are undried. Tiny with seven of them, and I will lose all of my strength and become like a normal man. <laughs> dong! No hidden dong. He broke free. So Delilah asked him again. The silence and I was like, Oh, Samson, uh, what's the source of your strength? What, what makes you so strong, man? Yeah? What? What? Well, the thing is, if, if you throw me with some unused ropes, the, the ropes that are unused, uh, I can't break free. So, if you're, if you're looking to kill me, that, that, that might be the way to do it. <laughs> Rope! So, Delilah came to Samson one more time. Oh, Samson, uh, what's the source of your strength? What, what makes you so strong, man? Yeah? What? What? The source of my strength is really in my long hair. If you shave it off, I will be weakened. <laughs> Shaved! Officially weakened! Dead. Since Samson had been officially weakened, the Philistines came and overtook him and gouged his eyeballs out. They put him in his prison as a show animal, like someone in the zoo or something. But his hair eventually grew back, and he regained his strength once again, and pushed the temple pillars down and destroyed more people than he had ever killed in his entire life. Yeah.